Hi guys, VST here, when I speak Welcome back on my channel. Some exciting news, again related to the Samsung smartphones. And I'm just gonna cut through the chase guys and directly tell you the good news. So apparently, Samsung released something called the Galaxy Labs, which probably reminds you of the Google Labs. So if you have been using this, you know that Google are releasing like 10 to 15 applications, you know, that can do like some funny stuff, like with augmented reality. Anyway, interesting stuff. Samsung are doing pretty much the same. So there's something called Galaxy Labs and I'm gonna be putting the link down below to the Galaxy Labs from the Galaxy Store into the video description. So make sure that you check my video description. Just open this link directly from the browser on your phone and you're gonna get directly to the Galaxy Store. Now let's install the Galaxy Labs and let's just check what kind of applications you're able to find inside. We already know that there are four of them. It's the file guardian that keeps deleted the files from the selected time. So it's a kind of a nice solution to make sure that you know, you're not gonna lose any sensitive information. And then we have the battery tracker that lets you know the usage of applications within a day or a week in the selected time, which is really very, very nice and currently not available. Then we have also the battery guardian, which detects bad apps behavior and does not allow them running on a device. And it's kind of very nice not taking care of the battery health. And then last but not least, and this is very, very interesting, we have the Galaxy App Booster and the Galaxy App Boost actually is a fully blown optimized solution for your phone. I'm just gonna get Galaxy Lab open right now and we're gonna check together what is inside. So Galaxy Labs, privileged utilities for your Galaxy, right? So you spend some money on your nice flashy Galaxy smartphone and of course, why not? Then you get some good stuff. Okay, you can go and we can see. So apparently data recovery, you can undo your mistakes, save your valuable data. Why this is very nice that is incorporated inside. Battery saving, manage and extend your battery life. And last but not least, application booster. Get your performance boosted. All right, so let's get started, guys. Okay, I'm just going to install it right now. When you install it, right, you're gonna install the Galaxy Lab agent. Um, when you open the Galaxy Labs, you're gonna see here, there is the Fine Guardian, the Battery Tracker, the Battery Guardian, and the Galaxy App Booster. So let's first start with the Galaxy App Booster because I can imagine that you guys want to see what this thing is doing. So when you press it, you're gonna to get to the Galaxy App Booster and then you need to install it. So those are like individual applications, right? But you're not able to find them that easily directly from the Galaxy Store. So make sure that you just follow my steps. So open the link that I provided, open Samsung Galaxy Labs and then from inside, you're gonna install the Galaxy App Booster. So actually, I'm just gonna go back guys, okay, to the link that I gave you and I'm just going to also install the other application. So I'm installing right now the Battery Guardian, okay? Then again, you just need to go back. I'm going to install also right now the Battery Tracker, okay? And then finally, I'm just gonna install here the file guardian, okay. Now when everything here is installed, we can go back to Galaxy Labs, now tap item to finish the installation. Okay, let's just click here, Galaxy App Booster, and there it is, right? So, you know, it's the first time I'm seeing something like this here in One UI. If room performance up to 15%, runtime approximately 15 minutes, or depends on device performance, only optimized application used in the past 30 days. And you can see here, there is also an about version info. So let's actually click here this very big, nice button. Optimizing my applications, your device may heat up during optimization, okay? Well, you know, it's winter, so I don't have anything against some heat for free coming out of my smartphone. 5%, okay, you can see some of the application already being optimized. You can apparently stop it, right? So if I want, I can right now stop it, probably then resume it. I will leave this, I wanna see what will happen at the end. It's really interesting, guys, I can tell you. It's the first time I'm seeing something like this, you know, built in the Samsung One UI, and probably it was there forever, but you know, it's just me seeing it for the first time, and I wanted to directly show this to you guys. So you see some of the application that I'm using, actually I know I recognize those applications, snaps, seat that I use for editing photos and the speed test. But the good news here is that it is also optimizing some of the system apps and it's actually quite good because in the end of the day, by just using our phones, you know, we do use apps, of course, but then sometimes, you know, a lot of the system apps, you just don't notice. Like when you pick up the phone, somebody's calling you, or let's say when you want to find a location and put some navigation on. So it's quite good that actually this is done right now. 49% uh, service mode IRL, tasks, drive, keychain, AR doodle. You know, I actually never use the AR doodle on my phone, but it still gets optimized, <laughs> so that's not so bad. Let's see what will happen at the end when everything here is optimized.
All right, guys, we are now finally at the end. So your apps have been optimized. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back and perhaps my phone is gonna be really running quicker. I really hope so. Then we have the battery guardian. So let's open that one. Okay, automatically optimize your device once it detects excessive background battery usage. You should stop to view more. Okay, that's nice. And by the way, you know, it is actually something that you can apparently turn on and turn off as an auto optimization. Right now, I will leave it on. It means, guys, that you, if you're using your phone heavily with some of the applications and they start to consume more and more resources, you're probably gonna get a notification. And I think it's really good. You have also some short status here. Excellent. Your device is working well. And there are plenty of options. When you click here, then again, auto optimization, you can turn it off and turn it on. Sleeping application, you can apparently go and you can select, okay, which applications, you know, should you put to sleep or not? So the selected application won't run in the background and they may not receive updates. So let's say if I decide to put Outlook as a sleeping application, I might not get my email notification. And then we have ignored apps. So ignored apps are selected apps that will no longer be monitored or restricted by the battery guardian. So let's say that I want to keep Outlook as my top priority application and I don't want Outlook to be kind of restricted. Then I can go here and I can select the toggle on and it will mean that Outlook will actually never be restricted by the battery guardian. All right, it's not so bad. And then of course you have also about, again, version information. Battery tracker, guys. Let's also check the battery tracker. Clicking here, all right. Oh, okay, battery tracker battery level and screen on. I mean, how nice is that, guys? You can see here last 24 hours. Let's check Outlook. So if I press here on Outlook, you can see how active it was, the battery that it used. You can apparently put it to sleep or no, put it to sleep also quite good and then you have the last seven days so battery usage screen on and then the battery usage you can also go and put here active time i think this is quite nice let's see what options do we have here select the period of time okay you can even go and create statistics like this honestly i kind of like this so we have the option here to go into more details and check your performance screen on time and then of course how and which applications are using most of your battery. And last but not least, guys, we have here the file guardian. When you click on the file guardian, you apparently can select some files to be backed up. You can select where do you want them to be backed up, like audio files, images, videos, and etc. Okay, and then here, guys, apparently there are some settings. You can apply filters, you can choose the folder, you can choose which to be auto deleted or not. Skip backup data. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, get a warning if the backup size increases and also, of course, get notifications. So this is like a full blow solution for you to maintain your data on your phone, you know, and don't worry about that one. Again, I'm really impressed what Samsung is doing with the Galaxy Lab. Probably again, the Galaxy App Booster is my favorite feature right now. So, you know, just let's try to run it again. You know, the second time I think it runs quite quicker compared to the first time I used to run that one which probably means that it was already doing something at the first run so the first run took me like three to four minutes right now this is going almost in real time so let's see guys let me know what you think of this let me know if you had the time to do some more extensive testing and we're gonna catch up guys soon in my next video with that said you might want to consider subscribing for my channel and VST over and bye